Hey everybody, I wanted to do a review or my opinion on the Judy Bloom Forever documentary. It was released last Friday, which was April 21st. Um, I watched it that day on Amazon Prime. If you haven't had a chance, go check it out. So I couldn't do this in a reel because there's too much information to share, but basically I thought the documentary was wonderful. It, it was really good to see her, you know, nowadays, um, you know, she was an author I grew up with as many of us did. And I mean, her books are pretty timeless. You know, like I'm, I know my theme is mostly Gen X stuff and yeah, she was very pertinent to my generation, but I mean, I think her books were, I mean, out before that and have carried on throughout the years. So it was pretty interesting to see her, you know, as she is today, um, seeing the struggles that she had to overcome back then, you know, with her people being offended by the content she was putting out or, you know, her books even being banned and which I will share a funny story about that. But, um, so I, I didn't know that she was originally kind of almost like kind of a Dr. Seuss level type children's author at first. Uh, she kept getting rejected and stuff and, and, um, you know, finally she was given a chance. And then when she put out, Are You There, God, It's Me, Margaret, she put it more into a story of like first person. So it was, it kind of represented the way that, that she was feeling and the struggles that she was going through as, as a young girl. And I think that's why that book was so popular. I know we, when I was in elementary school, uh, we passed around that book amongst everybody. Everybody read it. And the story I was going to share, so I was, I want to say I was in second grade, I'm pretty sure, second, maybe third grade, but you know those book fairs that they used to have back in the day, so um, we had all read it and everything, but they had a book fair, and um, I want to say almost everybody in our class bought that book, which I think then got the school or the, the company that was putting on the, the book fair or whatever, they got suspicious. So they were like, eh, eh we got to see what this is about. And um, so, yeah, they, they told us we had to return the book a couple of days later. I think they sent a, I can't remember if they sent a letter out or if we were just told at school. But regardless, we had to return the book. So my point is, is book banning. Um, yeah, that's been going on for a long time. But, you know, I. And, and I don't want to get into the whole book banning thing because in some cases nowadays, I you know, depending on the material, of course, I think it is necessary, you know, if it's a danger to kids. But of course, that's all subjective. So that's why I don't really want to get into that. But I, uh, you know, something that is a part of life that girls can relate to. Maybe you girls didn't have a a confidant source to be able to talk about that stuff with, you know, and, and, and it was really harmless stuff. I mean, it was just going through puberty. It was like the first kiss, your first boyfriend, you know, it's, it, it was harmless stuff. And to think that a book like that, even back then would have been banned or uh, purchased with caution type thing. It, it's kind of amusing nowadays when we see the stuff that is out there and available to children. So, yeah, so that happened, but um, I thought it was also really cool that, um, I mean, what an impact that she made on society because she had like a file folder and was going through like all these letters that that girls and boys too, it wasn't just girls, you know, wrote to her, you know, just saying, thank you so much. You know, finally somebody understands me and gets me. And, um, I, I was like, wow. I mean, and, and she even took the time to, I mean, she, obviously she can respond to all of them, but she took the time to write back to some of these people and, and even followed a couple of them throughout the years. I was like, that's pretty amazing. And I was thinking, I mean, how impactful that would be today to have some type of service like that, where, you know, if somebody doesn't want to go to counseling or therapy or have, or doesn't have like some type of, you know, adult figure, teacher, whatever that they can go to, but you know, to have somebody that they can rely on to communicate with, of course, probably be by email now instead of snail mail, but you get what I'm saying? I mean, that's pretty cool. So all in all, I'm going to say, yeah, yeah I highly recommend it. Um, you know, again, the, the only part 
that, it, you know, and it was towards the end of the documentary where they kind of did get into some of the book banning stuff. Um, you know, I'm not saying whether I agree or disagree, but I think part, I guess the only way I'll, what I'll say is part of the things you really can't compare today's um, banning to yesterday, um, meaning, and I'm talking about stuff where they're like trying to rewrite history and stuff. I'm not talking, you know, I'm not getting into the gender stuff, you know, that type, you know, that that's not really for me to decide. I, you know, I think that comes more from parents level, probably shouldn't be on the school level, but you know, I'm, I mean, that stuff is fine, but I'm talking about um, like historical books that you know, proven fact type stuff. So that was the only thing I think, and, and they, it was kind of skimmed over. So, you know, again, I don't, I, you know, a lot of that stuff I don't think can be compared to what we're going through today. But aside from that, I mean, it, it was wonderful. It was really good to see her. Highly recommend it. I am really, really excited about the movie. Are You There, God? It's me and Margaret coming out this, I think it comes out this week. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. And maybe I'll talk about that too. But let me know if you watch the documentary and what you think about it. Bye.